Finally, let's talk about social exchange theory. Social exchange theory attempts to explain how we determine our satisfaction within a relationship. According to social exchange theory, we weigh the costs and rewards in a given relationship to determine our overall satisfaction within that relationship. So the rewards in the relationship are the outcomes that we get that benefit us in some way. Whereas the costs are any outcomes that take some kind of a toll on us. This can be anything from granting favors like driving a friend to the airport or helping them move or providing them emotional support. Now, there's this sort of equation that is posited by social exchange theory that says that our relational satisfaction equals the rewards of the relationship minus the costs. And if the costs of the relationship outweigh the rewards, we are likely to be unsatisfied in that relationship. But if the rewards and costs are balanced in the relationship, or if the rewards outweigh the costs, this usually leads to a positive evaluation of the relationship and satisfaction within it. Now, we need to be cautioned against viewing social exchange theory as this sort of tit-for-tat accounting of costs and rewards. That's not really the way that it works. We aren't always sitting there in our relationships thinking, hmm, do the rewards in this relationship outweigh the costs of this relationship? That's not really the way that our brains work. However, that being said, we all do become aware of the balance in the costs and rewards in our relationship at some point within that relationship, but this awareness is not super persistent. We tend to become more aware of this relationship between rewards and costs when things are out of balance, right? It usually only becomes a problem when the costs start to outweigh the rewards. Um, and so we start to become more aware of this imbalance, perhaps, when we are going through a conflict in the relationship. Um, so when we are in a relationship, we are often doing this unconsciously. We don't really realize that we're doing it. But we are weighing whether or not this relationship is worth it, whether we are getting the benefits out of this relationship that we expect to get, and whether or not this relationship costs us too much. If we determine that the relationship is too costly for us and all of these outcomes are taking a toll on us, we might choose to terminate the relationship. But if things are balanced or if the rewards are outweighing those costs, we are much more likely to see those costs as not a big deal and be satisfied or highly satisfied within the relationship.